Hello, Mission Hill Church family. We give God the glory for another day into his presence. Uh, today is Tuesday and it's uh, the time for our midday prayer. Thank you so much for joining. May God bless you. And I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Even those who will join later will watch it. I believe the Lord will meet you to the point of your need today in the name of Jesus. Let me go ahead and open us with a prayer. Everlasting Father, we thank you because every minute counts, O oh Lord, for your glory. And it's nothing but the parentheses also towards eternity. God, we thank you that we are alive today. That we can stop what we're doing, oh God, in this day, in midday, to say thank you, Jesus. To praise your holy name. And to bring our burdens before the one who is able to care. To provide, to sustain, to heal, to guide. May your name be exalted. May your name be praised. May your name be worshipped forever and ever. As we pray with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So it's 146. Uh, verse 1 say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I tell myself, I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God even with my dying breath. Praising God is a really not an advice for a believer. I believe it's a requirement. We shall praise the Lord. We will live. For one of the reasons that we will live for is to bring glory to His name, to praise Him, to worship Him. Most of the times we praise God when we are at the church or when something good happened to us. But we shall praise Him at any time. Even to the last breath that we got to take on this earth, we should give Him the glory. We should praise Him. Praise the Lord at all times. Praise the Lord as long as I live. I think it's a great confession that you decide, you make a resolution in your heart. God, regardless what is going on, I will praise you. I will praise you. I will praise you, Lord. So will you just join me as we take just a few seconds to just offer up a word of praise to the one who deserves it all. Word of gratitude for the great things that he has done and he keep on doing among us. Word of praise because he's almighty. He's God. He's all powerful, all glorious, holy, righteous, loving. He's an amazing God. I want you to join me even right now as we praise Him. Everlasting Father, we praise You. We worship You right now. Oh, be magnified. Be lifted up. Be glorified. Above and beyond our imagination because You are God Almighty. Will You receive all the glory? Oh, Lord, even as You open up our mouth to say, Yes, indeed, You are holy. You are glorious. You are mighty. You are amazing. You are the creator of heaven and earth. You are trustworthy. We bless your holy name, Jesus. We worship you, our Lord and Savior. We thank you for the gift of life, life even beyond this world. We thank you for your divine provision every single day. Oh, your faithfulness in our lives, oh God, in the ministries of our church. Your faithfulness to the families of our church. Oh God, your great love towards us. We give you all the glory and honor and adorations because there's no one like you. We thank you, Jesus. Be thy exalted above and beyond all. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. We give God the glory. So, um, uh, verse 3 in the same, um, Psalm 146 said, Don't put your confidence in the powerful people. There's no help for you there. When their briefing stop, they return to the earth, and in the moment, all their plans come to an end. Now listen to verse 5. But happy are those who have the God of Israel as their helper. Those who hope, those whose hope is in the Lord their God, shall be excited. If your hope is in the Lord, if all your trust is in God Almighty, you shall be excited, you shall be happy. Because he never failed. Listen to verse 6. He is the one 
who made heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He is the one who keeps every promise forever. God, we thank you so much that you trustworthy. You are trustworthy. God, our hope is in you and you alone. We trust you, oh God, with every challenge of our lives. Oh Father, it could be a relational issue right now, oh Father. We trust you, oh God, for a great resolution. We pray, oh God, for people that are looking for jobs, Lord Jesus. Oh God, we trust you for open doors for them. People that are suffering physically, that are dealing with sickness. Oh God, I'm praying right now. Oh God, for your healing power. We trust you, oh God, for their well-being, for good health in the name of Jesus. Oh Father, we pray even right now, oh Lord, for people that are confused, trying to take a decision but don't know if it's the right one or not, that you bring clarity. We bless your holy name for that and we worship you. Thank you because you are trustworthy. Thank you because we hope in you. And whoever hope in you, O oh Lord, his hope will not be in vain. Because you are alive. Be thy exalted Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Verse 7 say, Who gives justice to the oppressed and food to the hungry? Are you hungry? Will Lord provide food? That means if you're jobless right now, you trust in the Lord for a job, keep on applying, keep on trusting Him, keep on waiting. He will provide for that job that will help you to get income and to take care of your family. Take care of yourself and take care of your family. Who we'll give food to the, to the hungry? The Lord frees the prisoner. Are you in a circle of bad habit? That become a stronghold in your life that you can't get out. The Lord can free you. He can bring freedom. Verse 8. The Lord opened the eyes of the blind. This is uh, really talking about healing. The Lord lift the burden of those bent beneath their loads. The Lord love the righteous. The Lord protect the foreigners among us. He cares for the orphans and the widows. Are you an orphan? Or a widow? Among us is still people that lost their loved ones. Spouse. They're still suffering in pain. Because it's still fresh. Remember the word of God. He cares. He cares for you. I love the way that uh, this psalm really verse by verse reveal on every issue that the Lord is able to take care of. Open the eyes of a blind, heal it, feed the hungry, provide for nourishment for the body, freedom, spiritual freedom. Uh, it's an amazing God. So Father, in the name of Jesus, even right now, you know the need of your children at Mission Hill. You know specifically what we're dealing with every day and every week, oh God, of our lives. Struggles that we can't do nothing about. But God, we know you are able to do. We know you are able to bring freedom, to feed, to set free, oh God, to provide, to heal, oh Lord Jesus. We believe in you, our Lord and Savior. We believe in the working power of God even right now. Do so for your glory, Lord, and for the testimonies of your children, O oh Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because we know that you are able. We know that you can do above and beyond our imagination. To you be the glory forever, Lord, as we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Listen to verse 10. The Lord will reign forever. O Jerusalem, your God is king in every generation. Praise the Lord. Regardless of what is happening right now in this world, our Lord is a king. He's the king forever. No one can enthrone him. His kingdom has no end. He reigns forever. 
this is kind of a word of comfort for us. It is really indeed a wonderful one that we know all, even when things are getting hard. The pressure of this life is sometimes unbearable, but we know one thing that our Lord is trustworthy and He reigns and He is on the throne and we can trust Him, we can believe, we can rest assured that He cares for us and He will continue sustaining, guiding, providing, protecting, leading us day by day until the day that we step into eternal glory. We give Him the glory even right now. We thank Jesus for all the great things that He has done through the Mission Hill Church. We've seen a great move of God and people surrendering their lives to Christ Jesus, people being baptized. It's just amazing. God is on the move. Trust in Him. Keep on trusting Him. Fix your eyes on the Lord, the King, the one who is on the throne, the God of heaven and earth, the one that is all generations, has passed still the same. He cares. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We bless your holy name and we worship you. We give you all the glory and honor and adorations because you are trustworthy. We thank you for this time of prayer. God, we thank you so much that we can look up and hop in the King of Kings. The one who cares. The one that is not only God of heaven and earth for us, but our Heavenly Father. Oh, the one who cares so much to let Jesus die on the cross of Calvary on our behalf. And we are so grateful. So may your name be exalted above all. Will you receive all the glory even in the midst of our need and challenges, O oh, Father? Let our mouth to testify, O oh God, how good, how great you are, how amazing, how wonderful. Be thy exalted, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for praying with me. May God bless you. May God bless the rest of your day. I can wait also to see you next time. Thank you.